Hello friends and welcome to my channel the Unix Mantra. Today we are going to learn how to access internet on a virtual machine. And the next thing that we are going to learn is how to access virtual machine from host machine. So let's start. So I have host machine as my Windows 10 machine. And I have virtual machines with the OS installed as it was um, so let's start the virtual machine so whenever we install a new guest virtual machine on virtual box by default it adds a nick or we can see a, a virtual in the, uh, Ethernet card to it so let's see how to configure IP address for that particular network card. So I'm logging with a root user and let's see how many Ethernet the server has. So here we can see one lookback address and one Ethernet with the name ENP0S3. So let's see if, if we are able to access the internet. We'll try to ping, let's say, google.com. And as you can see, it's giving an error as name or service not found. Basically, it is not able to connect to the internet. So the thing is that the, the ethernet card that is the MP0S3 is not yet activated. So if we, if we will just activate. With the command if and if you try to ping now so it's able to access it now if you want this permanent change then just go to etc sysconfig network script and here we see the configuration file as if cfg and phg just edit it and change this parameter on put from no to yes this means that whenever the virtual machine gets rebooted or started this internal ethernet card will be activated automatically so we don't have to manually activate it and now if you see it has got the address as 10.0.2.13 now what if i want to access this virtual machine from my guest machine so the 10.0.2.15 is actually the natted ip which is coming from the host machine so if we go to the settings of this particular machine then we'll be able to see that so this is the ethernet adapter uh, which is the natted one so what we will do, we will add another adapter so that we will be able to assign static IP address to it and we will be able to access that particular virtual machine from our host virtual machine, sorry, host machine. So let's start. For that, we want the machine as a power off. So we just power it off with the command power. And it has been powered off. So just go to the setting network, then adapter to, and click on enable network adapter. Make sure that uh, you attached host only adapter to, and keep the name as the same. So just click on OK. Now start the virtual machine. I'm logging with the root user. Now, if you check the Ethernet adapters, so here we see, as you can see, 
as we have set the parameter on boot s it has taken the ip and we don't have to manually activate that particular ethernet card so this is actually the nated ip we can see and this is the new adapter that we have just attached so currently it doesn't have any ipv4 address so we'll assign an ip to it so for that just go to the path etc config network scripts where all the configuration files related to network source to so what we will do we'll copy the existing configuration file from the ethernet adapter that is actually already there and we'll just copy the same file and we'll edit the new configuration file so here we don't want dscp we want a static ip address but we can just say none to it so that we don't want any ipv6 settings so i will just comment it the name is different for this internet adapter so it is enp0 asset it has a different uid so i'll just comment it now i want to give the ip address so parameters ip adda I will give the IP address. So how exactly I will give the IP address? So I will check the IP of my host machine first. So just go to a common point and check the IP address of the host machine. This is 192.168.56.1. So we'll give any IP address within the same network that is 192.168.56.x so 192.168.56.10 suppose then prefix is 24 as it is class c ip address and just Try to activate it in P zero S bit. It has not given any error, and as you can see, it has got the IP address one ninety two one sixty eight fifty six dot ten. So now, if you're trying to ping it from our host machine, then we should be able to ping it. So as you can see, we are able to access this particular server from our host machine. So if you're trying to SSH it, you can use any SSH client. For example, I will use OTF and just enter the IP address of the server 192.16.56.10, and as you can see. I am able to log in even I can see the IP address here as well. So this was all in the video. We were able to access the internet from virtual machines as well as we saw how to assign a, a static IP address to a virtual machine and access it from the, the host machines. Thank you for watching the video.